love can be a double-edged sword. Sometimes it makes us feel more alive than we ever thought possible. And sometimes it has us at its mercy. Sooner or later, we need to evaluate our relationships and let go of people who may be toxic towards us. The unfortunate truth is that some people are just not ready for relationships and may not have your best intentions in mind. Accepting that your partner is contributing to your depression is hard to face, especially if you desperately want things to work out. Here are some signs to watch out for. 1. You don't work together towards common goals. There's nothing worse than a partner who doesn't support your dreams. If someone is holding you back from reaching your goals, it won't be long before you start feeling depressed. You and your partner may be interested in completely different things, but can still be working towards getting promoted, running your first art show, or conquering the next wall at your climbing gym. If your partner is not goal-oriented like you are, it might feel like your partner is forcing you to choose between your relationship and your dreams. 2. You can't connect emotionally with your partner. One of the best parts of being in a relationship is being vulnerable and being honest with your feelings. The strongest partners connect with each other on a deep emotional level. So when that emotional connection seems muddled or distorted, it leaves both partners feeling confused and lost. Sometimes people just aren't emotionally compatible. If you find that you're much more willing to talk about your feelings than your partner, it may cause you to feel dissatisfied and misunderstood. 3. Your partner's depression might be contagious. Is depression actually contagious? Researchers have tried to answer this question, and they've come up with extremely interesting results. One study looked at a college roommates and found that students started experiencing depressive symptoms when a new depressed roommate moved in. Another study was done on rats with similar results. Depression was induced in a group of rats and when new happy rats were introduced to the cage, they quickly developed the same depressive symptoms. So is it possible to contract your partner's depression? According to the research, it seems like a likely possibility. 4. The relationship is starting to get abusive. Abuse is one of the most obvious causes for depression in relationships. It's also much more common than people realize, especially among women. A large amount of abuse experienced by women goes unreported. It's estimated that between 18 and 36% of women have experienced some form of relationship abuse in their lifetimes, and predictably, relationship abuse is one of the most common causes of depression. This abuse can be physical, emotional, or psychological. Regardless of what form, you should look to loved ones outside of your relationship for support. Remember to appreciate your time and not rely on your partner for a stronger sense of self-worth. 5. A total lack of communication. Lack of communication is one of the most common reasons for failed relationships. And if you can't communicate with your partner, you might start to feel depressive symptoms as a result. Interestingly enough, a recent study showed that poor social skills and depression are linked. No matter which partner lacks communication skills, the relationship will likely suffer as a result, causing depression for one or both partners. 6. Your relationship has evolved and your needs have changed. Relationships are filled with magical moments, mostly during the honeymoon phase, and we often wish these moments could last forever. However, people change and partners become comfortable. As the years go by, you might find yourself in a relationship with a completely different person. Your partner may have different needs, different priorities, and different expectations. This type of evolution in relationships isn't just inevitable, it's healthy. Problems only arise when our partners can't meet our changing expectations. If you begin to grow apart from your partner, that's okay. Just because they seemed like a great match in the past doesn't mean that we should hold on to someone who aligned with our past values. 7. You feel like you're stuck in the relationship, even though you know it's not working out. Okay, so your relationship is making you depressed, so why don't you leave? 
Over the years, researchers have tried to figure out why people stay in unsatisfying relationships, and they've come up with some interesting theories. Early studies claimed that couples stayed together because they thought that they couldn't find anyone better, or that they were afraid of the uncertainty of separation. But modern researchers believe that it's much more personal. One new study suggested that people might stay together because their partner is extremely devoted or out of concern for each other's welfare. If your partner is saying concerning things such as, I can't live without you, or you're the only good thing in my life, it can put a lot of pressure on you to keep them happy. This shouldn't make you feel like you have to accept certain behaviors and mistreatment if you're experiencing it. Have you experienced any of these relationship issues? If so, have they led to depression? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, why not leave a like and subscribe to the channel while you're at it?